I got a problem. This tire refuses to hold air. Ever since I bought the damn thing, this one and only tire on my Toyota just always goes flat. The others are fine. Never had to touch them. But this one tire just always wanted to be a problem. So how do you find out where your leak is coming from? In my case, what I did was I took a spray bottle with soap and water in it, and I sprayed it around the rim. And what that did was it brought up billions of little bubbles started to form all the way around the thing. So you got a leaking bead, so what? Why don't you try some of that tire slime stuff? For your information, I have some of that tire slime stuff. But as you can see, it is for punctures. It is not for leaks. However, this stuff is for leaks. Hey, I can get some of that stuff on Amazon. Well, sure you can, but you're also going to pay $7 more. That's why I got it from AutoZone. It was actually $7 cheaper, no employee discounts or nothing. $7 cheaper right out of the gate at AutoZone. Anyway, let's jack this sucker up and see what we can do. She flat all right. What the hell? Three different size lug nuts. Using a valve stem remover. Now, obviously, I don't have any kind of a tire change machine laying around here anywhere, so you might be wondering, how am I going to break the speed? Well, that's where this hammer comes in. This is actually specifically designed for breaking beads. And if you have sensitive hearing, you would do well to cover your ears, because this sucker is not quiet. If you find that it's being stubborn and doesn't want to break the bead, you can use soap and water to help release it. Use a little bit of soap and water to clean the bead. I struggled to get my bead to reseat. If you have the same problem, tip the wheel up like this and try pushing the wheel into the tire. Then once you get a few PSI built up, before the bead pops back on, apply some more of the tire sealant. And don't lose that valve stem, wherever it went. Wherever the hell it went. Probably a good idea before you start this project, make sure you have extra valve stem cores. If worse comes to worse, you should also have a little magnetic pickup tool thing. If you have a leak on both sides of your beads, make sure you only break one side of the tire at a time. Otherwise, it'll be a massive pain in the ass trying to get both sides of the bead seated at the same time. Especially if you're using a small air compressor. Reseat the bead on the back side. You may be asking yourself why I only removed five lug nuts off of a six lug wheel. Well. I'll leave you to draw your own conclusions. This truck has been notorious for snapping wheel studs, especially in the rear axle. I probably put 30 lug studs in the back of that axle alone and it only holds 12. 
Now we test our newly repaired wheel with some soap and water. And you can start to see the formation of really, really small bubbles, which means you still have an air leak. Flip your tire over and check the bead on both sides. Looks like in my case, my rear bead is holding up much better than the front. That means that I only have to re-break the bead on the front, which means it's time to lose the valve stem again. Make sure your soap and water has evaporated before you try to apply more tire sealer. And this time I'm going to apply a thicker coat in the hopes that it will seal this time. I applied the second coat just a little bit faster than the first, so hopefully that means that the stuff was able to stay tacky longer. And maybe that will mean the difference between a good seal and a bad one. Aired it back up to 20 PSI, and I'll check again. None of the spots are bubbling up now. Now for the fun part. Right there. Come on. Wheels installed. We'll let her down. You can actually see the spots. They were starting to bubble because the rubber bead seal was actually catching the bubbles and holding back the air. We'll even do this scientifically. 19.6. We'll check it again in one week. All right, it's been a week. Let's see how it held up. Well, it doesn't look flat. Let's see what the tire pressure gauge has to say about it. What was it at? 19.7 when we checked it? Zero. Nineteen point four. Extremely slow in that leak now, if anything. So sweet. There you go. If you need to use some uh, bead sealer, that'd be the stuff right there. Part number one four dash one oh one. Uh extra seal bead sealer.